All right, welcome everybody to our fifth episode of a life wave lifestyles dr pat myself and today we have a, a wonderful exciting guest for you chris kroll who's got me involved in life wave and welcome chris thanks for being here thank you glad to be so tell us uh how you got into light wave what what got you to light wave and what was the results of you using your patches um, I've been patching about a year, a little over a year now. I had a nurse friend and we happened to be in a, um, a mutual meeting together and we got to be friends chatting and I have, um, had issues with limes for, honestly, I'm not exactly sure how long, probably since around 2010, but didn't realize that's what it was until, um, about, 2020 when I actually found out a doctor tested me and said that's what I had limes and babesia um so with that you're fatigued a lot um you got a lot of brain fog so she just said you know I have something that might help you <laughs> and wow. the rest is kind of history um so my journey in life wave I'm not a one patch wonder I am um, hold the course, stay the line, and you'll see the manifestation of what you want. Wow. Um, so over the, uh, I suppose it's probably been about 15 months. Um, all my fatigue is gone. Um, but through that, um, I've also discovered that I had heavy metal toxicity and limes and heavy metal do not like each other in the body anyway. So they react kind of, um, they cause other issues. Um, so I've addressed that. And then um, because of LifeWave, I've met a naturopath and he helped discovered that um, I had a parasite. So, but the limes was totally gone. It didn't show up. Um, heavy metals was not really an issue. So I'm addressing the last piece. So one of these days I'll be squeaky clean. But in the like, meantime, I have no more fatigue. Um, I used to wake up and sleep uh, maybe three, four times a night, almost always had some kind of pain, which was, I didn't say, was um, a residual from a um, being hit by a, a semi. Mm -hmm. And so it gives you a, a sideways whiplash. Wow. So all of those things just kind of compounded and with the limes being, it kind of settles, likes to set limes and babesia likes to settle in your neck and your shoulder. So that's where the, I had the major issue with the whip, whiplash. Hmm. So I've just been peeling back the onion skin for the last 14 months. So fatigue is, is gone. Brain fog is gone. Um, I really don't have, um, any of the aches and pains that I used to have. I still have some neck issues. But, you know, it could take 18 months for your neck to be restored if you have pinched nerves and everything. So I'm just, you know, I'm just waiting for that to leave. But in the meantime, um, life is back being enjoyable. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's are you just taking the X39 or are you using any other patches, Chris? Uh, when I started, all I started with was X39 because I really didn't realize there were others um and the gal that introduced me to it you know she didn't stress anything else which was fine so i started on x39 but i quickly got into glutathione and aon because i realized well number one i need to detox number two i had a lot of inflammation um, which I knew was, you know, after you sit in some of the trainings enough, you start learning what they all do. So that's what I did. So I went from um, one patch to probably within um, a month, adding in both glutathione and Aon. So I had some detox issues when, um, when I started using the glutathione. I had, a, so that would have been last summer. Um, I had some detox issues last fall. I'm not quite sure what that was. And it could have been when I added um, uh, carnosine because I didn't do carnosine right away, but I had done 
49 earlier on because we were going on a cruise and flying and I wanted the um the Faraday cage and all the protection from the EMF that the 49 gives you so I'm not I because I didn't really record it so I don't I just know that October Novemberish time period I had some detox once I started doing the heavy metals which would have been after the first of the year I that was really okay I that because I think a lot of them had gone out in probably um November and December and so I had a heavy metal test in December and by the time March came around they the numbers had already started dropping so glutathione was helping me a lot already um so and when I did I did a, um an AO scan this summer and that's when um the heavy metals were not really showing up anymore there was no limes no babesia so just this little parasite that I'm dealing with now so someday I'll be squeaky clean <laughs> so 14 months is when you started to feel the fatigue gone oh no heck fatigue no I went when I was detoxing I really no I really haven't had fatigue um since mm, last last summer because I was fine when we went on our cruise and that, you know, that's when you're traveling. I just, uh, and, and that would have been last August um, that we went on the cruise. So I was, I really, the fatigue left fairly quickly. Um, my sleep did not change right away. So I'm not quite sure how the two of them, um, cause when you don't get enough, I, well, I don't know when the, I don't know when I changed from I don't know when I went from three and four times a night being awake to not. I I can't answer that question, but I you I would be asleep. up three or four times a night. You were asleep. How would you know? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't write it down. You're in, you know you're awake and you don't sleep and you're tired and but that changed on me relatively quickly. The fatigue when, and the brain fog left quickly. So when did you start? Around January of last year. No, I started uh, patching um, the end of June, the end of a year ago. So June, June thirtieth would um, was when I started. When I started the, patching a year so, ago. So that's yeah. actually that's probably pr probably fifteen months because yeah. this is the end of September. And then you felt the fatigue go away after like five or six months. Uh, no, fatigue went away um, relatively quickly. I oh. now my detox issues, you're, I don't know, I, I've been through enough detox. It wasn't the same as being, it wasn't, you just kind of feel crappy with the detox. I've had detox. I used a Beamer once. That was horrible. I was in bed for a whole Labor Day weekend with that one year. But, um, and that was a bad detox. My de when I, when these detoxes were just, you just didn't feel you just didn't feel yourself. I mean, I wasn't really fatigued. It was just like, ah, uh, I guess maybe I don't feel like doing anything today. So I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. But, and that was, you were drinking enough water at that time, I guess. Well, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's so important. You know, you never, you never totally know. I think, yeah. I mean, I drank a lot of water before and I have added water in. I mean, after I started and Dr. Stacy will say, do the, the salt. So I right. have done Celtic salt pretty much all along too. So. Yeah. I've been putting uh, Himalayan salt in there. Okay. It it I have that. And sometimes I use that too. Yeah. That makes a difference. That's very good. That's very good. Dr. Pat. You have so any all in all, I say that I'm a thousand percent better than I was last summer. And um, I'm still checking things off. So my major issues I have checked off, which is the fatigue, constant pain, not being able to sleep. Those I've checked off. Mm -hmm. So now it's just those little irritating things like my neck being bothering sometimes. So. Yeah, I, I think uh, so. Because when you first um, set this up for us, you said you were not a one patch wonder. But after I'm two, not. but it, if your fatigue went away after a very short time. Well, the fatigue left, but it took a while for some of the rest of them. So, sure. oh, and yeah. you know, fatigue for me was 
being down, I guess I could be, but it's, uh, I mean, we went on our cruise last, no, um, last August and I was not wiped out on that. So maybe I was just didn't think, I mean, cause I, 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 the fatigue for fatigue, fatigue for me was, um, if I went, I could go, I could have one day good. Oh, I remember when we were RVing, I'd have one day good and I go hiking and whatever else I need to do. And then I'd have three days that you just be wiped out. So that part left relatively quickly. I just didn't, that I just didn't, just didn't have um, some of the, um, the detox, then you just feel a little, but I've never had the days where I go, I have one good day and then three or four bad days. I used to mark on my calendar. This was a good day. And then the not negative, negative, or how many hours were good in that? Because I just always felt so bad. So. So you, but you, you got your life back, like you said. Yes. I basically got my life back and I, and I don't, and I guess I, I didn't consider myself one patch wonder. And I guess um, because I'm I'm just still slowly checking things off, yeah. you know. So we so maybe I should say I was no I wasn't a, I don't consider myself a one patch wonder like some people. Mine yeah. was at least two months. So that's still pretty pretty good, yeah. you know. Considering yeah. So yeah, anyway, I find every month um, it's almost like a marker. Even after two months of being only using X39. Good mm -hmm. uh, I tried patch here or there and it was too much for me. So I mm -hmm. just said, I'm using X39. And then after two months, something just the coin dropped in the slot. And I said, all right, let's try some of these others now. Ah, mm -hmm. that, and that's, uh, and I've played around with a few of them and now I'm trying some new ones. And uh, so- and it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. And I probably used in, in August, I was using more of them. I don't, I didn't start using Aleveda until maybe Christmas time. Um, didn't start using the skincare until spring sometime. So I probably used, I really didn't use energy enhancers very much and I'm not quite sure why. I don't know. I really didn't use energy enhancers very much. And then I didn't use ice wave very much because they didn't, I, uh, ice wave didn't seem to work for me. So I didn't use that because yeah, it was I, more of a, almost like a whole body for well, my whole body ate. So. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, for that, I found the Eon works better. Right. So I, I still use, um, Aeon all the time. Yeah. It increases inflammation in the body. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. We all have inflammation. Yep. <laughs> the yep. Degrees, degrees. Yes. Uh, right. I wanted to mention was that on a day-to-day -day basis, well, for me, I didn't see any change. On a day-to-day -day basis, this the, the changes can be very, very subtle that you don't realize. Mm -hmm. And if you look back two months, three months earlier and say, oh, I feel a lot better. That doesn't bother me anymore. You just don't realize it. That's yep. We have the uh, the health tracker, which is very good. This is a sheet that uh, you should fill out periodically, and it tracks your progress. And we also recommend people to take a picture of their face when they first start out, and then every so often take another picture and see any major changes. And this tracks the quality of sleep, mental clarity, energy, and a whole bunch of other things uh, mentally. And then physically, it's pain, inflammation, headaches, mood swings, age spots, scars, wrinkles, things of that sort. And so you fill it out for the before, mm -hmm. and 24 hours later, seven days later, 14 days later, 21 days later, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, up to three months. And by that time, you should notice uh, some change. Yeah. But it, the changes will continue to improve. And a lot of things that you may be thinking you want to have change or improved, but then you'll notice that you had another problem that you didn't even think about, and that's gone. Uh -huh. Or that's yeah. a lot better. And 
it, but like I said, the change of it can be very subtle. So you have right. to have some time. And I think the older you get, <clears throat> uh, sometimes it changes the car a lot slower. <laughs> so yep. you have patience. The the gradual one, my um, I hurt my shoulder. I don't know, probably in the spring of 2020. And it, it I just couldn't sleep on that side. And I was always uh, slept on my left side. But one night in, in February, I rolled over to my side and to look at the clock or something. I thought, oh, my shoulder doesn't hurt. I have no idea when it went away because, you know, if you don't sleep on your left side, why do I know? All I know is about seven months in is when it, is when it changed and it's like wonderful and what patches were so, you using at that time um uh, probably the same ones you know x39 um 49 aon i was probably using um, glutathione i used carnosine the only ones i really didn't use a lot was um energy and ice wave because I never I didn't think they were really they were really working for me. I, I ice wave never took care of any of the aches and pains that I had just for me. So I don't know if it's because I didn't know how to use them, but um, or I needed to use two sets. But and most of my issues would come at night, so oh. I just it it would always disturb my sleep. So Chris, I wonder if you could. Tell us the difference between X39 and X49. Some people get a little confused with the two. Okay. Um, X39 activates stem cells in your body. Um, your, we have what's after, after we, um, after we pass 20, those, our stem cells really start slowing down. So by the time we're 30, we only have a few of them, half of them maybe. And by the time we're 60, and since I'm past 60, um, you maybe had 10% of them. So the, the X39 is a tool that sends a light signal to your body and it tells a peptide, GHK, to activate and start renewing, waking up stem cells that were not working before. So that you feel better, you look better, your organs function better, you have less fatigue. X49 comes alongside and it helps with muscle mass, um, stamina, it helps with some brain um, and heart functions. And it also acts, um, when we went on the cruise, I wanted that uh, Faraday cage protection from all the EMF that's in an airplane and, and on a cruise ship. So. That's with, um, so I swim a lot in the mornings. And so I know that actually, I probably noticed that relatively quickly that my swimming um, was stronger. I felt better when I was, when I got done swimming because I started using X49 and that was sometime in the fall. No, I had to have been in August. I had to have been in August because we went on the cruise ship. I didn't, I didn't write my time frame down because it never occurred to me. <laughs> but, but yeah, cause I, we went on the cruise in mid August. And so I would have started that. I figured I needed to start it ahead of time. So you had some of it, if there was, if it built up in your body, I didn't know. I thought, well, I wanted to start it, at least use it a couple of weeks ahead of time. So I probably started using that the early August. And I noticed that my swimming, my swimming was better when I was using the X49 last summer. So that's stamina and strength. That's great. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for asking that question. I just hadn't even, I hadn't connected that. So very interesting. You mentioned the Faraday cage. Well, that is what a, an electric car is. Electric vehicles are really Faraday mm -hmm. cages. Because of all those batteries. Yeah. It's interesting. I, and I probably said it to because I was visiting with a gal today and she simply wanted the X49 patch because they were going to be flying. And she's very sensitive to EMF. Mm -hmm. And she said just using the X49 did help her, which I found, I, I, I honestly, I didn't know if it would work, but she said it, she felt it really did. She was less sensitive when she ended up being in places. That's um, really she was in New Mexico and she said, there are lots of 5G towers around. Yes. She had a hard time, I think, going into um, Albuquerque in the past 
And so she, she said it really helped her being able to go into places that before she had issues going into her parents lived in it live in New Mexico. So that's good information. Yeah. So it helped her being very sensitive to EMFs. Yeah. So, well, EMF is all around us. 5G right. that we're exposed to it constantly. Yep. Uh, and it's only it, getting worse. So. It's also very useful for patients that have had radiation therapy or exposed to radiation. Any kinds of radiation it helps mm -hmm. dampen the effects of the radiation, which is very good. Now, could you wear the patch when you're um, taking radiation treatments? Would you recommend doing that? I don't think that'd be a problem. It depends where it is. You know, I, okay. I would say if you're receiving radiation to your chest, you don't want to put a patch on your chest. If you put right. it on your ankle or foot, that would be okay. I never thought about that either, but yeah. But you could put it on right after you have the treatment. and the That's way. true, yeah. Wow. Right. Or right. if you go to the dentist and you're getting x-rays, you could wear the patch anywhere below your shoulders, I suppose. Good idea, yeah. And then, hmm. you know, they say after you get like um, whatever you get in your mouth, like mercury or stuff taken out or anything like that, mm -hmm. you use charcoal. But I bet if you put patches on at night, like glutathione patches on both sides of your cheeks, that would help detoxify it too. Maybe Probably. by the liver. But the liver, all the toxins eventually wind up in the lymph for the liver, I guess. Right. Which is why I wear a lot of I wear the glutathione, not every day, but pretty close to it, probably three, four times a week anyway. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, Chris, uh, there's a, a lot of the young people today, they call, they're called in the, in the holistic or spiritual worlds, light, light workers, uh -huh. or empaths, and hypersensitive as, as helpful as they can be to tune into higher consciousness for people. Oh, they're, parted with with their their uh, being emotional to they need to be more open to to get these messages if you will but at the same time the emfs and the 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 anger and all that it's rough on them and when you're talking about the x49 i'm thinking this might be a great patch for add uh, and um, those time of uh, ADHD and mm -hmm. autism because though a lot of those people are on the autism spectrum are also are empathic or light wave and uh, I think that whole range of young people might find a whole new use for it for their own spiritual interesting I, this gal I I would say you're saying some of the things that she does yeah, yeah. I, I kind of think I'm not hundred percent just what she was sharing today so being so and i otherwise you know i don't know how you become so sensitive to it but um she, she might she might flow in that you know today i'll have to I, ask her next time i'm just as we're talking about this because i'm empathic and doing light work and the last we've had a few holidays the full moon eclipse and um in august there was an event and each on those events, I'm getting more and more deeper connections in my meditations and insights. Oh, uh -huh. And um, and the last few uh, mediumship readings and, um, that I've given and uh, intuitive readings, it's just it's like it's it's more easier and better than ever before. And I was chalking it up to all these events that I've been that this the, the world is waking up. It's getting lighter. But mm -hmm. I also wondering now that we're having to talk about X forty nine, I wonder if that's not helping clearing stuff out. Hmm. Could be. No. You'll have to test it some more and let me know. I will. <laughs> hmm. I know this gal. I put X thirty nine and A on on her, mm -hmm. and she felt it right away because yeah. she'd had a car accident when you know about ten years ago and like a traumatic brain injury. And um, she recognized, she felt the energy flowing in her body. Yeah. 
right away using those. And the next time I put Ice Wave on her to see if she had a headache, I don't remember what she had, but I used Ice Wave on her. And um, she felt that right away too. So I think this is um, because I, I'm quite sensitive. And from the moment I put on a patch, I feel energy working in some way or another. And one of the uh, women that joined, I know is a chiropractor and very sensitive. And she, even her husband, who's not sensitive, they both felt they, they're on vacation. They go, whoa, we, we have energy to do stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think that's a whole new, if anybody's listening and your children uh, are empathic, intuitive, or on this spectrum, you know, we can't make any claims, but um, it's something to consider trying. Right. Very and good. Say now that we're talking about it, this is only for entertainment and educational purposes that we're, what we're talking about. Dr. Conti is a medical doctor, but he's not your doctor. And Chris and I are not medical doctors. So anything you hear today, check it out with whoever you go to see for your wellness. And um, any any last words, Chris? We're, we we really, our whole half hour is zipped right by here. No, no. I thank you guys for having me. It's um, I've found LifeWave and the patching to be, you know, I've had benefits, but it's a joy when I witness other people like you guys hearing that you've had changes, hearing that Dr. Pat's wife had changes. Those just, those just make you want to share more. So thank it's you. just so exciting and encouraging to have something to share with people that can be life-changing for them. So Thank it's you. good you guys are doing this. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Dr. Pat, anything, last words? The only thing I want to say is that there are so many conditions and diseases and problems that we experience in life. Uh, I remember when I started my pathology rotation, I uh, had to buy a pathology book. It was that thick. Okay. And it was tough getting through it. <laughs> it was kind of frightening. But really what I want to say is that we're still learning what the patches can do. There are so many conditions out there that we don't know if it's going to do anything for these conditions, but more than likely they will, but we can't make any definite claims, but it's certainly worthwhile trying the patches. Mm -hmm think everybody would be surprised by the experience. So you're right. The comment. Chris, so I, one of the places that I post this these videos is LinkedIn. And I get more more than any other social media outlet, I get 20, 30, 40, 50 views of that. Wow. I haven't had anybody contact me yet. What would you say to they're mostly professionals in LinkedIn? Mm -hmm. What would you say to people that they're, they're enjoying the show? They find it fascinating. Anything you might say to them to take the next step to explore this? Um, if you have a busy work day, it'll help you handle your busy work day better. Um, it'll give you more energy. It'll help you think more clearly. It'll, it'll help you respond more clearly. I hear that all the time from people. It'll help you be more relaxed. Um, if you're going into a meeting, it helps you be more prepared when you go in, just because you're thinking. You're thinking and responding um, in a whole different way when, when your body is balanced and um, the way it used to be when you were younger. So yes, it's absolutely worth, worth trying. Super, great. Well, thanks again, Dr. Thank you. Pat. Thanks again, Chris. Thanks, Dr. Pat. Thank you. And until our next episode, wish you all health, wealth, and joy, joy, joy.